or depression has said that it's a good place to go. These are my words. Mm -hmm. You know, um, because you can, if you're able to come out from depression, you can find yourself. That was what I was telling here, Joy, if, I, if, if yeah, I was right about that. Um, I think a lot of people who don't have this willpower go there and they never get back. Um, so, mm -hmm. you're, you're mixing and I ain't got rough on you. Oh, you're mixing. You're mixing. It's yeah. you're mixing. So. Mm -hmm. We can begin mm -hmm. with the true definition yes, of no, what depression, depression. What, what because is. Because it, yeah. it's been thrown out there a lot. Mm -hmm. Good. So give us the real definition of what De depression. Mm, depression. So basically, we have two sides to everybody. Um, you can have a high moment and a low moment. We are permitted to have both both of them. Mm -hmm. So let's say a expert is KB Nabia, 50 KB at our account manager. You are high, you are excited, so you are high moment. But then from there, a one at the other could you can be forty thousand. Realize that within that short <laughs> moment, the best yeah. are, are down. Your joy is short lived. Yeah, so we have yeah. moments of high and low. But when we say depression, a a place a, people get to a place of consistently low mood, which mm. is present for about two weeks and is there almost every day of the week. Let's do the definition again, sir. Depression is when people... So you go through a period of mm -hmm. a departure from your normal self. Like they were at... Mm -hmm. You depart to a place where everything is down, but it is consistently present every day for most throughout the day for about two weeks. So we are all permitted to have a bad day. Yeah. You are sad, but the next morning you are okay. So that is just you're having a period of having a low mood but it's not consistent so that cannot classify qualify as depression yeah. okay but what can depression are it is consistent it is persistent it is there almost every day throughout the day especially in the mornings it is worse but as the day goes you have your mood coming up but you don't get to the place that you know yourself and yeah it is a departure from normalcy Mm. And it also affects your social relationship, mm -hmm. your occupational relationship, mm -hmm. your spiritual relationship. It affects, and actually people can actually see that there is something going wrong with you. And we don't just uh, make the diagnosis of depression from just the idea you have a low mood. If we be afraid, be core symptoms. So core symptoms near Basa 3. The first of the core symptoms is a low mood. Low mood in the in at home car, you don't even have a feeling of happiness. Even, when you when you when you, even if there is something stimulating. Like, mm, like yeah. we go to the place where oh, everybody is happy, like maybe you'll be share a joke, be everything is funny. It's not that you don't even want to laugh, but you cannot even bring yourself to, to put the, yourself in that situation to, the to laugh. To the place of happiness. So, and, and it is there. And you inquire about. You don't, you don't, you don't, don't move have, to it. You don't even move to it. Yeah. Even if the song were your favorite. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And can be, is it so far? But in the world born. In the world born, ain't not the same, I think. And that comes to the second core symptom where it is loss of interest. It means that wow. you lose interest in things that were previously pleasurable. So somebody likes good music. It'll be up a reggae. It'll be up a gospel. Even what but gospel. Well, now the person does not even have the feeling to enjoy it. Dangerous. And that is one of the signs that sometimes in the beer. This person is an outgoing person. Maybe or oh, yeah, lovely, like, oh, let's go here, let's go here. But all of a sudden, the same things are those times if you tell the person, say for married couples, the same things are catch a baby. It's all of a sudden, like the person is like on oh, your interest. It's a sign that maybe mm. the person you love or your loved ones are going through it. So there is low mood, there is loss of interest, and there is low energy. Low energy means that they can't even get up. Sometimes getting up to do something, getting up to bathe, getting up to even opening the curtains is difficult for yeah. them. So you realize that, like you said, they will stay in dark rooms. Why is it difficult? Is it that you have low energy? From the depression why why explain to us so so what what happens basically is that um your be friend you chemicals and, I, and, mm -hmm. I'll, and i'll come to the point 
the body works on chemicals. Okay. And there are certain chemical hormones like dopamine, and then uh, ML motivation, like the drive to go. When you eat food, you are satisfied. It is dopamine that makes you have the feel good. Uh, when you have sex, that is what mm -hmm. gives you that desire that oh, sex is good. Uh, serotonin, all these things are chemicals that um, help you. Like, you have a trick I from my mind. It's, it's chemi chemicals, even the you swear our body, our brain. Nim. Or our dream. It is an awkward story. If they be there, I don't know catch them. Go forward. Echo too high. So I don't know catch them, bra. But for some people, those chemicals and balances, there is imbalance, and everything comes down for them. So they don't have the drive. The other signs so you see is that there is loss of appetite, and it affects weight change. So. If you have gained more than 5% weight or lost more than 5% weight in a month, it's not because you are dieting. And now they be a, you are trying to eat to gain weight. It is a sign. That there is loss of libido. The people, and you'll be say, oh, all of a sudden, the person is not in sex again. Like, you don't even have the feeling to have sex. So sex becomes a drug for you. Like, in that thing, for sex. Like, even look at me with him. Like Obi Bounch, the dog can cry the at the or how be it is a sign and also there's something called sleep changes. Early morning wakening. In the fact that your normal time at that be about ten o'clock, you wake up around five. Mm -hmm. You realize that people who are going through depression, they wake up at at least about three hours earlier before the time. In the other ten by one o'clock, many what on to me debut. And it's not that they have the feeling that they have slept and they can't sleep. And I want to chip in this because normally I, 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 we leave out pregnant women and uh, children. Mm -hmm. For children, presentation of depression is different and we don't look out for them. Mm -hmm. If a child is depressed, one of the things you realize is that there's a decline in academic performance. And a lot of parents don't even take notice of it. In Tineban, all of a sudden, the performance drop. Then they get classes teachers. They get more, more, more studies. Oh, you have a teacher, yeah, but you realize that you are, the more you are even giving the teachers, the more the child is still not doing it. You think the teacher is bad, you change. The child becomes very irritable. That means, and China, you, know your, you know your child. We will delve into why a child will be depressed. Because why are they not going to be able to do it? I'm going to say, a friend who has a kind of one, Reverend Doctor, or a doctor named Kofi Edu, or a specialist. Oh, Psychiatric hospital. And since I'm a free psychiatric hospital, since I'm a Madina Polyclinic. Madina Polyclinic, okay. You know, I think I'm more after depression. Maybe I think I'll do TV, not to her. Also, in Kofu, in Kumbe, na ye di. Eh, depression. Mo fi di into her. Na ubi ana ye beje mo kwan ende. All right. Me patuwa ka de um when the person goes into that phase for two weeks, that is when we say the the person is depressed. Yes. What if it becomes a year? Yeah, so so then it we say at least two weeks. At least two weeks. So the minimum to make a diagnosis of depression, you know, is that you are going through these things in two weeks, and it is there. Mm -hmm. uh -huh, so people have people. Funny enough, there's another one we call this time. Yeah, I know yeah, mild. They don't get to clinical depression, but some have had it for years, and they can't really enjoy. There are people like that, like, and so yeah, it's just like it's like a, a younger sibling when they. Depression in your kitwa. Mm -hmm. Mouth. Mouth. But mm -hmm. they don't get to like clinical depression then, but they have had it for years. Sometimes it starts at very early around for females around 15, for males around 12. Wow. And so there are people that maybe you get to marry them or like be in an environment with them. They have never you've never seen them like excited about life. Life. On three. Like is most, that it? You can in three years be being any like, like most of the time, if you talk to them eh. and you get close to them and ask them, there is an underlying cause that they, they just cannot be happy. They've been like that. And it's not that they don't want to change, they want to, but they cannot feel that way. Yes, like, and, she, it, and it is not about like it be a indifference. Uh -huh. Indifference is different. Yeah. They be an for home, but uh -huh. this one, the people want to feel it. You see, when you are depressed, it's not that nyamana and you. You want to like enjoy things, but in to me enjoy, like to me enjoy it. Like the willpower, yeah. like I was saying, the willpower to even enjoy it. It's not there. It's not. And that is what makes it so difficult. And that's why they get to a place that they have what you call worthlessness. We feel it there be a 
we are sending him with so hopelessness, and it has to be a new home. Then they start. Some of them start having guilt. Is it because they might born? Is it because I'm a sinful person? Is it because I'm a bad person? That is why I'm going through this. Then they get to a place where they have suicidal ideas yeah. and thoughts that. Oh, oh, they. That in the for 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 July and. My life. I yeah, think. for for people who've been through depression for a year plus, almost they never friend. It's still depression. So you see, depression is your great, your mild depression, mm -hmm. your moderate depression, mm -hmm. and your severe depression. It depends on the symptoms that make can be brain. It depends on the number you have. You get it. If you have one core and other symptoms be two, it is mild. If you have two core and other symptoms be three. It is moderate. Mm -hmm. If you have all the three core, that is the low energy, low mood, and loss of interest now, plus mm -hmm. any other symptom, another will be psychosis. When now, Nipa no Otokra, another, what today, in Zibini, in Kasade, on Yen Papa, and they can get to the point where now they begin to believe that they are bad people, and when Yen Papa, they want to die psychotic that is severe so they even the treatments and the management you know it depends on the kind of depression you come with. wow uh, but most of the time if we start you know that's why we are doing this education and thanks mm -hmm. thanks for max tv so some people if we catch it out it's very easier to manage because i'm an hour so mm -hmm. we will have the means to manage it but if it has been long sometimes treatments takes a longer time. No, we've heard, we've okay. heard a lot of bipolar, bipolar, mm. bipolar. Yeah. Can depression lead to that? Or is bipolar another level of depression? Okay, so in the in the diagnostic statistical manner mm. you use in a DSM or the mm. ICD, you know, depression stands on its own, okay. uh, one. But the other side of depression, you know, when people become too hyper, mm -hmm. and we're afraid of mania or hypomania. So in mania, you know, everything is fast for them. So the person is talking excessively or cast and tent them like and you see has ideas like in the OEE today he wants to do this business the next time he's doing this business the next time sometimes that's what we call grandiose delusion you probably believe you there some time back after the OEE name or powers which my side everybody like he has money there is risky behavior they are driving recklessly irritability on chain and you and they are talking and they can't stop talking. Sometimes one of the cardinal signs that there's so-called decreased need for sleep. They can they can go about three days without sleeping. Because they are talking. They are moving from one party to another, jumping from this place to they are always bouncing new ideas to you. Like <laughs> I, I want to start this. I want to start this. I want to start this. So truth is wow. if a person can have depression on their own, but a person can have depression later go through a period of normalcy and can also trigger to the other side called mm -hmm. mania mm -hmm. so when we say bipolar disorder it is when a person has had either one manic episode mm -hmm. to the high you know, or a manic episode resolved with depression or a depressive episode that will go back to mania so bipolar means that he has a period of high a normalcy mm -hmm. period of low, wow. but there are people who just go through the depression and never get to the other mm -hmm. side. And the uh, friend is people who are anxious, like you know, I am she, she consistently honestly, but can there be some of the symptoms of way depression? So, anxiety disorders are very common. Yeah. Anxiety people who have anxiety disorders, let me use a uh, screen, it was more screen as an example, there's something called social anxiety disorder so their phobia there are people who are afraid to sit in front of people and talk so if you put the person before the screen onto me them <coughs> people who are consistently having anxiety disorders or panic disorders are more likely to be depressed okay. because of what they go through you know? because i'm in the end shifting causes of depression what brings about depression like risk factors we don't have one cause for depression, yeah, kind of biopsychosocial. That means your makeup can play a role. The way I say your family history, genetics, 
families that people have had depression, they are at a higher risk that the young next generation will have depression. It is not that you inherit it, but that's what research has shown there. If you should be on a depressed or maybe depressed, you are at a higher risk of getting depression. Depression affects um, the bloodline. Like twice females than males. If you take every depression, let's say, yeah, a ma to a bin a binyinko, women are more likely to get to get depression. One of the reasons I want Monday, women are more likely to accept their symptoms than men. So women are more likely to report. So that is why sometimes the cases of depression in women. Men will back out even if they are dying, they will tell you that men men So you have to Keep it inside. <laughs> the other, the other cause is um, when you are a child, like uh, it's a life event. Children who lose a parent when they are very young. Mm. Trauma. Yes, like people who lose and sexual abuse. Yeah. Mufra will abuse one, both male and female. They end up like loss of a loved one. It's part. The other thing is marital status. Research has shown that women, they are in a good marriage, are less likely to be depressed. depressed. People who are single are more likely to be depressed. People who are people who are separated or divorced are also more likely to be depressed. There was a study by uh, some people called Brown and Harris. Now, who the a single woman who has at least three children. Who are under 11 and doesn't have a husband has a higher chance of getting depressed. Wow. Yes. Also, what psychological, psychological, we call psychological stresses. We call what we call the, the social stress, I mean, the pressures in the world, like school fees, like money. Money. Like money, like family pressure, like work pressure. Sometimes no meeting targets. Sometimes all these things okay. put pressure on you. And sometimes because you're not meeting targets, you're not even happy. happy about life. So the stresses combined with other things. Let's say work is not going well. You are battling through a divorce case. You, were, you had an issue house, you were a child, somebody abused you. It gets to a point that all of these things come together. Mm. They push you to a place where you yourself, if the willpower is not there. One psychologist, Albert Ellis, says that life is like ABC. Mm -hmm. He says A is the event. Event is things that happen to you, auto, auto. Mm -hmm. C is the consequence, and the consequence is the belief. It's, the B is the belief. So let's say, we all go and audition for music. In my voice, not said that yet, but I still sing. It's a bit. Need to go to your music and your audition for harmonious choral. And I was in two solo. Ooh, you in two man two. They didn't take both of us for the audition. If I believe that my voice is not good, I can never be a musician. I am a. I am the worst singer. I have a horrible voice. It won't have any impact on me. No, I have a horrible yeah. voice and I can never be a good musician. My belief system can push me to a place of depression because I am looking down on myself. I'm creating a self for low self esteem. Mm -hmm. However, John can say that if Pamunos Kora won't join Boom Pickers, she will go and start her own gospel track. Yep. And she will start singing. She can do bathroom ministry and sing. So sometimes our beliefs, even about ourselves, about our future, about the world, can push you. If somebody tells you that you are not handsome, or let's say somebody breaks up with you, it is your belief about yourself, about your future, and about the world. And see, a bit tying it with the world, to the willpower. Yes. Yeah, willpower is your belief in yourself. Yes. All right. So, so if people, people who have a stronger willpower, and most mm -hmm. of the time, I, I tell, I, I tell them that your beliefs come from your associations. The your, your socialization. I realized that kids that grew up and they were abused and they didn't have self-confidence, they are more likely to 
accept what people say about mm -hmm. them and is likely to push them yeah. to a place of depression. Yeah. So, so that is why you shouldn't let anybody's opinion about you. If we are going to overcome depression, we shouldn't let anybody's opinion about you matter. Mm -hmm. I, I was coming to that, that we talk about the stresses. How do we alleviate that in our daily lives so we would have a better, you know? So there are stresses you cannot control. There are uncontrollable stresses. Traffic. Like the traffic. <laughs> you get it? Mm. Traffic you cannot control. So I tell you that the things that you cannot control, don't let them affect you so much. Okay. And there are things you can control. I tell people that man know yourself. One of the things that most people have not realize is that I tell people that people put their best lives on social media. Don't yeah. let don't let social media buy pressure for you. Because some people have entered into ventures where they want to do a particular kind of wedding, they want to live in a particular kind of place, and they've bought unnecessary pressure for themselves. So the ones that you can prevent live within your means. There are some how sometimes the CD will go up, the dollar will go up, and how fuel prices will go. The things that are not within your control, you have to accept that these things are happening not just to me. Happening to OBR Basically, everybody. Or affect to be right? Yes, but how can I best manage my situation? Mm. One of the other things is know your value, know your self-value, know your self-worth. Don't let anybody sell you short. Don't sell yourself short because somebody may be like it's in a higher position or something because they, mm. they want to look down on you. Don't sell yourself short. I don't Avoid toxic spaces. I think a lot of people endure toxic spaces because they feel maybe that is where their source of meal is coming from. Talking about toxic mm. spaces and relationships, mm. I, mm. I'm close to a few um, psychologists and they tell me for all the female cases they have, about 80% or probably even more have to do with relationships, not just like family marriage, boyfriend, girlfriend. Is it true? Say it here. No, be anti and no prayer. Say my baho ni be brain I na broken heart. And I did wrong a baho. And I think to quite bear you are in a toxic relationship. How do you get out so that you 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 go safe with your mental Yes, so one of the things Is that, it true first of all? Yeah, no it's true. So it's it's very common that most of the cases we have for females is either a marital case, is either a divorce case, is either the loss of a loved one. It's mostly loss of somebody that is loved. Mm -hmm. Or when I say loss, it does not mean that like just loss by death, but loss means that the relationship didn't work. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Like mm -hmm. like like one year. How to deal with toxic spaces? I always say that if I put DDT here and I put DDT and you recognize that it is DDT and you continue to drink the DDT, you die. <laughs> Most people feel that they need a certain kind of maybe, um, I don't know the word to use because maybe one, one of the things is social expectations. Mm -hmm. They have posted their boyfriend or their girlfriend everywhere. Everybody sees them like they are. That's why I tell people, don't put everything on social media. Live your life. So that if things don't work, you can work out easily. Yeah. But today they are drinking, they are drinking so below, they are posting it. So right now, social expectation, everybody sees you as power couple. Mm -hmm. Goals, then they come right, goals. Go. So <clears throat> most people cannot accept shame. We have been created to avoid shame. Yeah. Okay. Avoid shame. Is point. Mm -hmm. So because we have been created to avoid shame, mm. social shame, we stay and hope that it will get better. When so, you are beaten and mm. insulted, look down. No, on? because you 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 create the power couple. They being abused, but the next time you see them on TV, they are the best couple giving relationship advice. Into your book, cry not to him. So my relationship advice. How can you, how can you say that, do this, do this, and you yourself is not working for you? So then, but I always tell people that if you know it's killing you, 
sometimes forget what society will think about okay. you. I thought that it's okay to fail, mm -hmm. but it's how you pick yourself up. Wow. No, say that again. It's okay to, to fail, fail, but it's how, how you pick, how you pick yourself, yourself up. up. I think that a lot of people are afraid to fail, like, and because mm -hmm. they feel that if they fail, that is the end of them. No. Go and read about the greatest inventors. They tried so many times, they failed. But they're consistent, like, picking themselves up. They don't, they don't stay in their failure. Mm -hmm. mm. They, they, they go. I always say they there's a scripture that says that the righteous shall fall seven times. Yeah. I tell people that what makes them righteous is that they get up every time. Let, let's look before. at illicit drugs and depression. Yeah. Uh, what, what, what's the relationship between illicit drugs and depression? So. There is something in your, your mind called a reward pathway. There is a part of your brain that rewards you. I talked about a hormone called dopamine. Dopamine. Mm -hmm. Feel good. Feel good hormone. The adrenal. Yes, there's a, so two of the natural things that God gave us to give us dopamine is sex and food. Yeah. So you realize that if you eat sometimes, you feel good. That's what happens if you go to a party and there is If you have sex, you feel good. You to a part, see your favorite like, ah. yeah. If you have good sex, it's good. Let me use figures. Let's say food gives you about 100 mic like units rise in dopamine. Sex will give you like 150. The drugs can give you as much as 400. Okay. Amphetamines can give you as much as 1,500. That's a lot. So the moment you begin to use drugs, you don't have pleasure for sex or you don't have pleasure for food. Because even if you have sex and food, it doesn't give you the same feeling mm, the drug will give you. That is why wow. sometimes when people have tried, let me use sex, when people have tried certain things in sex, very rough things, mm -hmm. the adrenaline and everything, later if they want to go back to normalcy, they don't enjoy it. Because, because the rush you felt coming back is not easy. Mm -hmm. So when you stimulate yourself, the pleasure part for so long, and later you are not having it, the body goes into withdrawal. Mm -hmm. So you realize that the people will not feel okay. There are drugs like, especially cocaine, especially the drugs that give you high, cocaine, vitamins, the withdrawal is that they go into place of depression mm. so because they don't want to be depressed they keep doing it because you need the high well our time because of our time let's admit <laughs> why are so many superstars depressed depressed movie yeah. stars music mm. stars people that are in the public eye what is it that makes them so depressed yeah for everything i tell people that avoid being a superstar avoid being a superstar in the sense that, <coughs> that's what, one, of the, one of my favorite people <laughs> I like in the world is Denzel. Yeah. Washington. Denzel, you only see Denzel if he has a movie to promote. Apart from that. Or he has maybe a spacecraft or he's talking to his, uh, he has this Boy Scout thing he does. He says apart from that, he's off. Because he's not coming to live somebody's expectation. Mm. Mm. The truth is that a lot of people are living to people. To these, these people. people. That is our problem, right? And most yeah. of the things you are doing is not what you want to do. It is what maybe a label wants you to do. Maybe what mm. they, they, they want to market you. Maybe you don't you even want to go to, to this place to go and... That they, they, that they didn't feel like going to maybe a radio to go and do maybe media rounds or something. You were dead. But you have to. So... The cost of stardom is that you may lose yourself. So that's why I tell the people, so that's why if you are able to brand and become your individual boss, then you have control of where you go, what you say. And, but if you are under anybody's whims and everybody's saying, do this, do this, means that you are not your own self. Even for yourself. You get to a point that you lose yourself and you cannot find yourself. Mm. And you, you, you sit back and you ask yourself that, 
what have I even done personally to make me happy? Then they enter into the place of depression. Because, so, because they are leaving um, everybody's expectations. Yeah. Not but, but with all the money, with all the cars, with all the mansions, they still don't find yes. happiness. We've seen a lot of them take their own life. Yes. Uh, yeah. See most of these footballers, mm -hmm. they are depressed because they have to live a particular kind of way they have social media. Maybe sometimes the guy just wants to go to Bush Canteen in Lagos. <laughs> yeah, and just, and just and eat. It's kinky. Yeah, man. Yeah. Oh, to me, yeah, because they expect him. If he goes to eat in the bush canteen, can he say, ah, the guy will be broke, he'll be broke, he'll be broke at TC, see if they chop, he be, he... Then order and eat, you can order bush no, canteen. You say, you, you, you want to be there. you want to be there in that yeah. place. If I don't go, brother, I don't want to go. I go be amongst people and feel okay. C.S. Lewis said yeah. that man's, God's greatest gift to man is to be your own original. Oh. You, are, you are one of one. Yes. Wow. You are one of one. I am mm -hmm. one of one. Mm -hmm. Nobody I've, I've, I've been through depression very difficult time, you know, and I always say I was blessed to go through that because I came out a better person yeah. and it's like I have myself yeah. and I'm, I'm, I'm really enjoying myself yeah. at this very moment. Um, let's talk about the power of How does one improve that power and, of course, get out of every situation that is making them depressed? Yes, yeah, so I always say that your, your will is actually determined by, one, how you know yourself. So how do you know yourself? Sometimes you have to ask yourself tough questions. Sometimes you have to ask yourself, what do I want in life? Mm. Most, I think, one of our problems is that most people don't do reflection. Like Self-reflection. Self like, you should have a time for yourself where you sit and you ask yourself, okay, over the past two months, how has my life been? Like, what are the things that... And, and have a book, have a, have a gratitude book. Mm. And, mm. and have a gratitude book. And, oh, like, I was able to do this. I was able to do this. Of course, most of the time, we, we beat ourselves for... stuff we didn't do. And we don't mm. even give ourselves enough credit. For, for the things we were able to do. Yeah. Like, see, you hosted a very beautiful program today. You think it's normal. It's not normal. You see, successes become normal. Mm. It should not become normal. You should learn to celebrate yourself. Like, yeah. like gratitude. Then begin to... You have yeah. to learn. Yeah. You have to learn about, the, the, especially your, your profession, your career, where you want to go. The idea that you are not person but there's nothing new under the sun you're not the first person to do something mm. learn from people learn from their failures how they pick themselves up because sometimes if you have read people who have gone through the same thing you have gone through and have failed you know when you get there and you even fail you have avenues to to like pick yourself yeah. up. but the truth is that most people are just stuck inside we don't want to learn anything new mm. We don't want to explore other things. We don't want to listen. And we don't want to accept. And we don't want to accept. My, my, one of my bosses says something that is very profound. He says, if somebody criticizes you, it's painful. It's so depression, um, let's say mild depression, mm. normally the treatment for mild and moderate depression is psychotherapy. You don't need medication. Okay. So uh, um, there's something called cognitive behavioral therapy because we believe that uh, some of the Things people go through, depression and other things, sometimes it is cognitive distortion. Like okay. you have a low self-esteem of yourself, you have a negative view. So they will do the cognitive therapy. Sometimes it's behavioral, it's something you have learned. So you have to unlearn certain things. And mostly CBT takes about 12 weeks, 8 to 12 sessions. So sometimes mm -hmm. the reason why most people don't do well is because sometimes after about six weeks they are doing well if you ask them to come for therapy. They don't you know, want to come back. You no, know, we don't like completing courses in the past. <laughs> That's